and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Tuesday the 25th of January. The local media headlines today. There are some great fun and games going on at the moment over who runs Newquay Airport, where a new managing director started work last week. Samantha O'Dwyer seems to have decided that her first order of business is to stop pesky Cornwall councillors from asking awkward questions, such as why are the subsidised planes to London half empty? But the councillors aren't taking it lying down. This could be a long-haul story. A Devon councillor has got a frosty reception after suggesting that homeless people from his area could be sent to live in Cornwall. Ron Dolly thinks Cornwall's large number of holiday homes would be particularly suitable. The BBC is continuing to pursue that story about water supply difficulties in the Gunners Lake area, where nearly 6,000 people have had supply problems for several days. Southwest Water says it's sorry that a small number of customers are still experiencing issues, such as low water pressure. Pirate FM looks at the impact of Cornwall Council's budget cuts on children's services. The Falmouth Packet welcomes two new Assistant Chief Constables for Devon and Cornwall. The Cornish Times has an update on a long-running campaign to improve safety at a road junction to the A30 on Bodmin Moor. And finally, Cornwall Live can't contain its excitement about another programme on the telly. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>